Hey, what's up YouTube? I uh, wanted to do a little unboxing of this new CPU cooler I picked up. Uh, it's going on a X299 system. So I wanted to get something that was going to be a little hefty, a little little nicer. It's kind of an expensive one, but uh, it's supposed to be one of the best out there. So going to give it a try and hopefully it does what it says. This is um, the heat killer made in Germany uh, this is the nickel plated copper one and here it is they have a few versions where uh, they have like an acrylic top a copper uh, this is nickel plated copper so matches what I'm doing but uh, man it's hefty and uh, really nice looking just really nice uh, chrome and kind of like a uh, I wouldn't call it brushed but um, kind of like a not not polished super fine polished so it gives it like I don't know really pretty looking detail um, this thing is massive it probably weighs like a pound literally a pound um, it's just solid and feels legit um, so it's got quarter inch threads, your typical for water cooling. Um, I actually had to order uh, a different set for the um, 2066 brackets. So those will be coming in today and I'll uh, edit the video, edit that into the video. You just, um, it's got these screws on the back that come out and then you can slide in the new, the new um, brackets. But uh, also in the box is just your typical mounting setup. Uh, your screws, springs, some washers, an Allen wrench, uh, and that's about it. I think there's also, um, for different socket types, you can get back plates and things. Uh, although it didn't come with this. This is the one for the Intel. If I guess I did mention it, but uh, yeah, for the Intel. So this one should fit uh, your 1150, uh, you know, 50, 51. 55 um, and maybe some others uh, 2011 but yeah um, looks really good it's, uh, micro fins I don't think you can see them in there but uh, I'll um, I'll open it up when I uh, when I switch out these plates and uh, show you what that looks like so anyway that's all I got for right now but I'm gonna uh, wait till this bracket comes in and then I'll show you that take it apart and then um, hopefully show it to you once I get it in the computer but thing, this thing is a monster it's huge so anyway looks real good and uh, pick it up on on Amazon or uh, some of the other websites anyway hey, all right. so I'm back I've got uh, the new brackets for the heat killer and I'm going to uh, open it up and attach these and uh, we'll take a look inside while I'm at it. So they include a Allen key with the kit, which is nice. Don't have to go looking for it. So let's move this sticker off the back. It, uh, reminds you to uh, take it off before you install it. I hope that uh, people would realize that, but I guess there's a good reason they put it on there. So. It's uh, pretty well polished. It's definitely nice and smooth. It's got some lines kind of uh, in there, which is probably actually not a bad thing. It is really smooth. You can see it though just a bit. So anyway, let's take this off. My little my little guys here hanging out having a sick day not feeling too good today so he's not in preschool he's hanging out with me which is just fine you want to say hi no no okay he doesn't want to say hi So that comes off really easily. Nope. When you take it off, how uh, you know how tight they are? It's either 
finger tight, not uh, not torqued down with very much pressure. And these just kind of slide right out, just like that. And let's see what's on the inside. We've got some focus. Very small micro fins. Come on. No, he doesn't want to focus too well. But they look pretty good. Uh, see, that just looks like some burns and things from the machining, the way they cut it out, however they do it. But it doesn't look bad. And if there's any uh, dirt or any residue left over from machining it, um, I'm going to flush it before it goes in, and uh, that should take care of anything that might be in there, but solid block, that's all it is. It goes in through the middle, and then rushes through the fins, comes out through the, the back, but um, yeah, I mean, can't argue with the simplicity of it all, and uh, half tempted to put some silicone on the seal, something I can always do. So, little towel. Just give it a dab. Just a little, just a little something. What's the matter, bud? This stuff is great. It's just uh, silicone. This is for like uh, it's advertised for scuba divers. Okay, you can have it uh, for scuba tanks and keeping your seals airtight. So it's good stuff and uh, definitely works for a lot of water cooling applications in your PC. Will definitely. Uh, Seal up your O-rings, uh, your pump heads, just a tiny bit on the seals will help keep the rubber good and uh, and uh, saturated, whatever you want to call it. Oh, what happened? <laughs> you just stuck a sticker in a fan. Okay, so we're gonna put that back on. You're crazy. You being crazy, huh? bite you.
This is kind of nice. They just kind of stop once they get to the end. There's not uh, too much too much worry about uh, overdoing it. They just kind of stop when they get to the end there. So just make sure they're good and tight, finger tight. Don't <clears throat> overdo it. I mean, it's kind of you got these really small Allen wrench, so it'll be pretty tough to overdo it without stripping your tool anyway so seems good there she is ready for the uh, X299 so we'll see how she does thanks for watching